good evening guys uh, yeah we are going to solve some problems on averages in this video uh, yeah so this is our first problem today it is given uh, what is the average of all three digit odd numbers so he is asking us to calculate average of all three digit odd numbers so uh, uh, yeah what is the first th three digit odd number so three digit number is 100 and first three digit odd number is 101 and the next one 103 and next one 105 and so on till last three digit odd number is 999 so we need to calculate average of this fine guys if you see this series it is of plus two plus two plus two and so on correct so the difference between two consecutive odd numbers is two can i say that this series is in ap series is in ap so remember guys this is it if series is in ap average will be we know general formula uh, general formula of average is sum of items by number of items where if series is in AP, average will be straight away equals to first term plus last term divided by 2. So this is the thing. So uh, by applying this, the first term is 101 plus last term is 999 divided by 2. So 101 plus 999 is 1100 divided by 2 which is 5 <coughs> excuse me 550 is my answer that's it so we'll move on to our next problem fine so second problem the average run of batsman in his 39 matches is 62 he scored 122 in his 40th match find his new average that's it so he has given average of 39 matches as 62 and plus 40th match he scored 122 so he is asking us to calculate new average so we know that average is nothing but sum of by number of observations so first we will calculate so first we will calculate sum of uh, runs for 39 matches how we will calculate sum of runs for 39 matches so simply sum of uh, th scores of 39 matches will be average 62 times 39 and so now new average will be new average will be sum of scores play uh, scored in 39 matches plus 40th match score 122 plus 40 so this is it so this is what we need to do and uh, this 62 times 39 is 2418 plus 122 by 40 which is equals to this gives you 63.5 this is the average new average that's it let's move on to our third problem guys i hope you understood this thing we are uh, we have calculated sum of scores of 39 matches plus 40th match score divided by total number of matches fine so this is our third problem the average of 13 papers is 40 the average of first seven papers is 42 and of the last seven papers is 35 find the marks obtained in the seventh paper I see, see, look at here, see, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 papers it was given. And the total average of 13 papers is given as 40. So, sum, sum, yeah, sum of marks in 13 papers will be equals to, I uh, you know, uh, that is uh, average 40 times number. We know now average equals to sum by n where if you want some we will multiply number with the average so this is it 
So, 13 fours, 520. This is the sum of all 13 papers, marks in 13 papers. Fine. Now, next what is given is given sum of first 7 papers as 42. So, sum of the 7 papers will be 42 times 7, 7 2s, 14 1, 7 4 is 28, 294. And again, he mentioned the average of uh, last 7 papers. Last 7 papers means from 13, if you have taken 7, this paper is included again. And it is given the average as 35. So, the sum of last 7 papers is 35 times 7. 75, 35, 3, 21, 245. Where in this, if you have taken uh, this uh, sum of first 7 and last 7, if you have added 294 plus 245, that gives you 539. In this, we have counted 7th paper twice. So, uh, if we subtract uh, remaining all this 520 you will get the difference where which is nothing but we have with the, uh, one more time we have added seventh paper that is the nothing but this so this is the score of seventh paper i hope you got it so please go through uh, this solution once again it's a very easy fine let me uh, move on to uh, the answer for this is option c third one 19 Let's move on to fourth problem. If the average of 13 even numbers is 120, then what is the difference between first and last numbers? <coughs> Sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, I hope there was a mistake in the options here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. See, average of 13. Oh uh, yeah. This is average of 13 consecutive even numbers, guys. If it is normal, some even random even numbers, we are unable to solve it. So, consecutive even numbers, there was a mistake in the question as well as in the options also. Let me check. Just now I told even numbers or odd numbers or con natural numbers, consecutive natural numbers are in AP. Whenever, if it is AP when the series is in series is in AP just now I told average equals to first term plus last term by 2 or else simply I can say a middle term also uh, let me take a small <coughs> sorry guys uh, let me take a small uh, series just to explain let me take uh, this uh, even numbers like 2 4 6 8 yeah 2 4 6 8 this is so if you generally do according to normal uh, thing average equals to sum by number it will be total you need to sum 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 8 20 20 upon 4 which is 5 this is one way of doing or if you follow this thing First term is 2, last term is 8 divided by 2, which is 10 by 2, which is 5 again. Or else you can take the uh, average of middle terms also. Middle terms is 4 plus 6 by 2, which is again 10 by 2, again 5. Or else simply here 4 numbers are there. This is like uh, the number of terms are even. If Okay, fine. Here I know that average is like the middle term. So, here 4 terms are there. So, in between this will be this in between 4 and 6 value is 5. Let me take like this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, now if I want to take average of this, then obviously my answer will be my middle term straight away. I can say 6 is my answer. This goes with the odd numbers also. I hope you understood this. So, with this thing straight away I am going to solve this problem. Look at here 13 even numbers, 13 consecutive even numbers he told. So obviously in 13 what will be, what is the middle term? I can say it is a 7th term is my middle term. 
so that straight away the average seventh uh, the average is 120 which is straight away equals to seventh term so seventh term here one two three four five six terms are there right side also six terms are there and without even calculations or anything i know that this is my average and even term means uh, even uh, even number means i need to add plus two for each thing so right side how many terms are there six terms are there so i need to add uh, two for six times which is 12 which is 132 is my 13th term now so from 120 i need to subtract to two for six times here which gives me my first term so that is equals to 120 minus 12 which is 108 and i need to take average of one uh, average of 108 plus sorry difference he is asking 132 minus 108 which is 24 is my required answer so there is nothing to do anything over here guys i just know we told like one two there are 13 terms seventh term is my average then i know that you say this is 120 i need to add two for six times here here also i need to subtract two for six times here the difference between these two will be this is 12 this is 12 so which is 12 plus 12 24 straight away i can answer i hope you understood this uh, solution just uh, try uh, observe, observing this thing once again you will get answer without even uh, all these calculations let me move on to next problem the average of five numbers is 30 if one more number is included the average becomes 44 what is the included number that's it so first calculate sum of five numbers how you can calculate sum of five numbers the average 30 multiplied by the number of items which is 150 and now one more number is included which is uh, yeah that number we need to calculate and this by uh, we are going to calculate average for this so five numbers sum plus six term divided by six gives me my new average 44 so if it is the case then i need to calculate the number so 44 into 6 so 44 6 is 264 so number will be 264 minus 150 which is 114 so this is the included number i hope you got it let me move on to our next problem fine a, uh, this question is in this way a pupil's marks were wrongly entered as 65 instead of 56 due to that the average marks for class got increased by half find the number of pupils in the class nice guys you know average means equal distribution equal distribution correct so this is what the idea see actual marks are actual marks are 56 but uh, by mistake they entered a 65 how much extra they have entered 65 minus 56 which is 11 this 11 marks because of this extra 11 marks only each person's average went up by half correct so let's uh, take in this way instead of marks think think like this 56 chocolates actually 56 chocolates should be distributed they thought that they distributed 65 so that means 11 extra chocolates they have distributed because of this 11 extra chocolates each person got half extra correct each person half more so that means every person half then 11 chocolates would be uh, distributed uh, in terms of half to how many persons so one chocolate is distributed to two persons right half each so similarly 11 chocolates will be distributed to 22 persons i hope there is nothing to do calculations over here equal distribution concept let me move on to last problem here guys what is the average of all four digit red numbers which leave remainder of one when divided by four nice first of all tell me what are the first four digit number first four digit number is thousand and the last four digit number is 
999 he's not asking you to calculate average of four digit numbers he's asking us to calculate the average of the uh, the average of all four digit numbers and that numbers when divided by four it should leave reminder one guys uh thousand is a number with, like uh, this is last two digits where divisibility rule of four we know if last two digits were divided by four that numbers uh, the whole number is divisible by four so one zero zero is exactly perfectly divisible by four where if i want to leave reminder one then what have what we need to like if you take one zero zero one so this will definitely when you divide by, by zero or by, when you divide by four you will get a reminder one for sure so this is my first number and then one zero zero five and then one zero zero nine like that it will be going on and so here uh, if you take last set of uh, four digit numbers i can say nine 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 six nine 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 seven nine 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 eight nine 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 i know that when i divide nine 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 six nine thousand nine hundred ninety six with four it is a perfectly divisible by four so reminder one means this is my next number which i need to take consideration so nine 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 seven so this is the series for this i need to take average so just now i told this is plus four plus four plus four only right so that means this is also series is in ap so when series is in ap average equals to ap means arithmetic progression guys sorry if uh, i thought you would uh, you know that just uh, straight away i'm using that uh, name ap and all it's arithmetic progression when uh, when series is in ap arithmetic progression average equals to first term plus last term by two that's it it's simply average of first and last terms you need to take first term is 1001 plus last term triple nine seven divided by two so what you are going to get so the sum you need to make 1001 plus triple nine seven you are going to get some 10998 divided by 2 so what is the answer guys it is nothing but 5499 that's it so this is my required answer for this video i hope you understood the problem uh, i'll uh, ping the links of the other topics are also under the video in the uh, description section uh, just go through the other topics and leave your comments uh, there. Thank you.